In a small rural village along the banks of the Congo River, life can be challenging, especially if you get sick. There are no hospitals near this area, and the only transportation is by dugout canoe. It was in the middle of the night when the pain kicked in. It was so intense, just opening my mouth was painful. Fabrice was suffering from a severe hernia. His only chance for help came from a mobile hospital unit supported by the United Evangelical Church in Germany and Global Ministries. We are fortunate to have a medical boat that we use to transport the medical staff to patients that live in remote areas along the Congo River. It also describes the dedication of young doctors who don't earn a lot of money in the first place, but who are prepared to go out, sleep in a tent, sleep out on the river if necessary, so that they can provide health care to people who otherwise would not have any hope of receiving any form of medical assistance or health care. We go every two months along the river. We work along three tributaries in the Belenge region, as well as the other regions. We travel with a medical team composed of doctors and nurses. So they go out with a, a mobile operating table. They go out with their uh, all their equipment. They go with a, a tent so that when they arrive at a village, they use this tent, set it up as the operating room. This morning we have already done six operations. We started at 3 a.m. Fabrice was among those scheduled for surgery. After examining his hernia, we knew it was a very severe case. So the first thing we did was to work with him to reduce the size of the hernia. He could have died if we did not. With surgery, we are confident he will have a complete recovery. I hope and pray that God will continue to bless the medical team that helped me. Thank you. Because of this partnership with the German church, medications are provided free of charge. Um, doctors are given a stipend so that they are encouraged to go out and Global Ministries assist with this. Those who are able to travel can seek medical help in the Bandaka area. There are five general hospitals spread out in the various communities here, but they need to be rehabilitated. We also have to create better health care standards for our patients and create better working conditions for our doctors. Doctors face many challenges working here. The hospital rooms are wide open and we have to work very hard to keep out infections. Our hospital buildings are old and are deteriorating, and some of the hospitals were damaged by fires. Soon, patients will receive better medical care thanks to the space created by the addition of several new buildings at the Bolange Medical Center. The plan developed by the Congolese Church themselves was to have it in different units. So we started with the uh, pediatric wing, following the pediatric wing, the maternity wing, and they are currently building the surgery wing. We are standing in a building under construction that will house surgical services. When it's completed, it will have new medical equipment too. This is the future construction site for the post-operative care hospital. There will be two wards, one for men and one for women. As construction of the new medical buildings continue, Global Ministries and partners in the Congo are also working together to create more preventative health care programs. Gardening and nutrition projects are helping mothers raise healthier children. Another priority is obtaining clean drinking water. In some villages, the water is dirty and not healthy for the population. We must also reflect together on ways to provide clean water in our villages and hospitals. Water is life, and without clean water, one cannot be healthy. So Global Ministries will continue to assist with water projects. Thanks to the hard work of the doctors and nurses, of our friends in the community of the Disciples of Christ in the Congo, health care is becoming more widely available.
Nous lançons à l'égard. We would like to thank Global Ministries and our brothers and sisters in the United States for their assistance with all of our health and medical needs. Their help has truly been a salvation. We also pray that God will continue to bless their generosity so that we can continue to work together to save lives.